So Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse saw massive success. I personally loved the movie, as did a lot of people, Spider-Man fans and otherwise. But after capitalizing on said success, their sequel seems to be shoehorning a ton of woke stuff, quite frankly. And the most egregious of them all is promoting the mutilation of children through a flag that says protect trans kids okay and as we know trans kids are about as real as a vegan cat okay they don't make that decision for themselves so let's dive into the video because there's a lot to talk about here and the backlash is already real Truny Tune Twitter is very upset at me over this, but what else is new? Anyway, so bounding into comics, uh, they made this article in which they said Sony Pictures promotes child mutilation in latest trailer for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse with Protect Trans Kids flag. And there it is right there. Uh, and then I said, well, I'm out. That's all he said. And of course, Truny Tunes. <laughs> Transphobic! Y'all are pathetic. Look at this. Every single one of them. Cartoon avatars. Cartoon anime in this case. Okay, this looks like Fire Emblem. But it's all, it's all cartoon Trudy Tunes. Now, when I first made the tweet, I got a lot of um, perfectly fine support for it. And most of it is. But just, you know, the latest quote tweets are from the Trooney Tune variety. And uh, I'm pretty sure all of them have mental illnesses in their bio. It almost never fails. The more people rage at me and just re about whatever it is I have to say when I click on their profiles, I quit letting it upset me because when I click on their click on their profile, there's always a mental illness listed in it every time. I mean, <laughs> it almost never fails. This is just where we're at. And if people want to ask, oh, well, are you including transgender people in that? Oh, is transgender people or transgender a mental illness? Um, Yes and no. I think it is, but I also think most of it is demonic. So if you want to ask my opinion on it, is being transgender a mental illness? I think it's demonic oppression more than anything, but that's a whole other discussion. Let's go ahead and get back to this video here because... Some people are going to be like, well, it's not that big of a deal. It's a poster in Gwen's room, right? And that's it. It doesn't play a role in the movie. Well, of course, it's subtle because, A, they can't globally release this otherwise. And they have to be able to have versions of it that are going to go to other regions that would not accept this. And, B, that's just how you start with brainwashing people. It's, it's, it's a slow process. It's like boiling a frog. People who want to introduce concepts and absolutely crazy things, like in this case, mutilating children, uh, the, in order to normalize these kind of things, they have to go slow with it. They have to be subtle with it at first. Now, things aren't so subtle these days in society, but that slippery slope was real. That slippery slope that the boomers were warning us about, that we thought they were all crazy for, they were right, and it was real, and it is happening, and... Someone else made a comment, too, in uh, regarding my tweet that said, hey, if it was just a trans flag and that was it, whatever, that wouldn't be enough to keep them from watching it. And I kind of agree with that, even though it wouldn't be I ideal. And I do think that, like I said before, I think transgender ideology, all this stuff, I think it's demonic. I think there's a demonic element to it. I think, you know, obviously no adult has to they have the god gave us a choice right god gave us a choice to follow the bible or not right and so if people don't want to that's their choice whatever and so if someone is transgender and they're a full-grown adult and that's their decision that they've made uh to transition or whatever at some point I, at the end of the day that's whether i approve or not which i don't but it's not it doesn't matter they don't need my approval and so whatever i liked the first spider-verse movie enough that i would watch the second one if that was the worst of it but the fact that it says kids on it i can't support it whatever you guys do whatever you guys watch it's your business but for me personally i just can't i can't support it when it when it's promoting child mutilation all right and don't even get me started on what it, the first thing a lot of people think about when they transgender children, which we know isn't a thing, uh, is we think of Jazz Jennings. And that has just been all over right now because, which I'm not going to hijack this video, just talk about that. But we see Jazz Jennings complaining to his mom 
about uh, not feeling like himself. Okay. Not feeling like himself and just, and, and then there was also like a painting he made and it's like this big quote that said something like, oh, maybe I'm in between. Maybe I'm not all one or the other. I can't remember exactly what it said, but to me, what that sounded like was, okay, here's someone who's confused about a lot of things. And now, uh, the fact that his parents transitioned him at like five years old first and then throughout, like that wasn't his choice. And now here he is stuck with uh, his genitals cut off and uh, that's just a tragic scenario. So what we've seen with Jazz Jennings, for example, is a tragedy. And I think a lot of people didn't realize the magnitude of it at first. I know I didn't. And then now just seeing, oh, it looks like there's starting to be some regret there, but it's just unfortunate in that case because the kid didn't have a choice in the matter. All right. So that's just where it's worse. That's just where it's just, you cannot be promoting children being mutilated and people say, oh, well, what about just blockers? They aren't doing surgery on kids. Uh, that's that's chemical mutilation, all right, because you cannot pretend that you can halt puberty that was designed to happen at a certain time of a child's life and that you can halt it. And then when they're like 25 and say, oh, you know what? I want to go back. They're not going to have a natural puberty just the same. You can't tell me that a male is going to halt puberty and then when they're like 25, change their mind and want to go through it again and that they're going to develop in that region as a normal male would if they went through puberty at a normal time. Same thing with a biological female. And you think about, okay, well, if a female were to, uh, you know, put off her, her puberty and then want to go back to it at like 25 or whatever, you can't tell me that everything is going to develop as usual and as normal. Uh, you know, there's a lot of risk to be had here with sterilization among many, many other things, and just not developing normally. And another thing, but I haven't even get into the article yet because I'm just like way ahead of myself. But another thing is when you see, and like I'm seeing just on the quote tweets here and all this kind of stuff, you see online, you see everywhere, the, well, the LGBTQ community in general, but especially the trans community and the trans advocates are some of the most violent and aggressive people you could ever meet. Okay, so back when it was just like, oh, we want to exist or we just want uh, these people to exist, right? The, the allies. We just want them to be able to exist. Okay, that's, you know what? That's a lot easier to be, okay, you just want to exist. You just want your friends to exist in their way, whatever. Uh, Y'all don't need my approval, right? But now it's gotten to the point to where it's like, oh, you have to validate them. And if you don't validate them and if you don't agree with everything they're doing and everything that they're pushing, then they want you to lose your jobs. They want you to lose your life in a lot of cases, right? This whole validate us or else type mentality or validate them or else from the allies speaking because they're aggressive too. So there's a lot of aggression and, and, and I think part of it too regarding, I mean, not to mention just the shooting that happened recently, but when you think about it and like when I'm trying to think about it as a woman, dude, and I know other women will relate and men who uh, have wives and girlfriends and all that will know. Think about a woman when how our hormones are fluctuating all the time. Now think about like when we're PMSing, like bro, we can barely control our emotions. I mean, obviously we can control them and it's no excuse to be rude or mean or especially not violent or anything like that. But just, just think about the level of where we women are, you know, a lot more emotional during PMS. Now think about a transgender person who is having artificial hormones pumped into their body. This is going to be a much more severe extent. So whenever we see that the transgender community are some of the most violent and aggressive people you can imagine are within the transgender community. Well, what do you think is going to happen when you're artificially pumping hormones into somebody that's not natural? Okay, because for women, it's natural for our hormones to fluctuate. We're naturally like that. And even so, it affects our emotions to a degree. Well, how much more is it going to affect somebody that has a bunch of artificial hormones pumped in them constantly? This is just common sense here. All right, now let's just go ahead and continue into the article about this. Sony Pictures Entertainment's latest trailer for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse promoted gender affirmation and child mutilation with protect trans, trans kid flag prominently displayed. 
at the 203 mark of the trailer, Gwen Stacy's Spider Gwen appears to be sitting in her room contemplating losing her friend Miles Morales. In her room above her door is a transgender flag that reads, protect trans kids. Okay. Um, and this goes over a lot of stuff. The claim to be transgender or the desire to seek transition rests on a mistaken view of a human person, rejects the body as a gift from God, and leads to grave harm. To affirm someone in an identity at odds with biological sex or to affirm a person's desired transition is to mislead that person. It involves speaking and interacting with that person in an untruthful manner, he states. Although the law of gradualness might prompt us to discern the best time to communicate the fullest of the truth in no circumstances can we confirm a person an error i think this is really well said and here's the thing for me with this kind of thing and i've kind of struggled with how to respond to people who are among the transgender community because uh, on one hand and i'll say for like up until fairly recent i've just been like hey you know, they don't, as long as they're not hurting anybody, I'll use their pronouns, I'll do this, I'll do that. But I've gotten to a point to where I'm not even comfortable using pronouns the, the, for, for the transgender community, the pronouns that they want. And it's not out of hate, and it's not out of anything like that, but it's more so just out of, it's starting to make me feel, I mean, I'm getting convicted for it as a Christian, because it's just like, uh, this, uh, it goes against God's design, okay, and, and it, like I just said earlier, I think it's, I think there's a demonic element to it. So for me to use those pronouns, I'm starting to feel like, okay, wait a minute. This is, even though they know I don't approve of it. And even if I'm just trying to be nice and still use the pronouns, all that, I start to think it's starting to make me feel wrong. Like, okay, maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Um, and again, like, Hey, this might offend some people. And it's not to be rude. I have some friends who are transgender. But the thing is, is I, I approach it similar to how, uh, why is there not an uproar? And why is there not a backlash against Christians from regular straight people who perhaps, you know, maybe live with their boyfriend or girlfriend and are having premarital sex, all that kind of stuff. Why don't we see the same vitriol from them? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because they're confident enough in whatever they're doing or they just don't care enough to where they're going to do what they do and they don't need my validation or they don't need anyone else's validation of it. They're not offended when people think that's a sin, right? So why is that not the same with the LGBTQ community? Now, I'm not saying all of them. There are some who are a lot more chill and they know where it's like, okay, it goes against your religion. It goes against your faith. You don't approve of this lifestyle, but they don't need my approval. So they're fine and they could still be my friend, all this kind of stuff. And, uh, there are some chill people in the LGB, especially, but even in some of the T now Q probably none because Q is just stupid. Don't even get me started. Just people who want to be in on the club. Um, but yeah, the they're they're for the most part though, for a lot of the activists and a lot of the community though, there is this oh affirm me or you're the enemy type thing. And you know, it just harkens back to my woke ideology is satanic video. There's a satanic element there, and there's a reason why they're so freaking mad. Uh and it's it, we really are in a battle against spiritual a spiritual battle and a spiritual war that goes on in the world. And that's why they're so vicious and they're so evil in a way a lot of times. Not all of them, but a lot of them is because there's a demonic element. You're, you're angering their demons. <laughs> it's quite literally what's going on. Um, and so then you see here, too, that they, they, they've inserted more woke stuff. You got the BLM sticker on here, despite his dad being a cop. Uh, so, yeah. And then you have pregnant spider woman, all this stuff, which, dude, I think is so stupid because, like, a pregnant woman should not be fighting, but I digress. I don't even, I think even beyond this stuff that we're seeing and beyond all the woke stuff that they're trying to insert into it, I don't even think it looks that good. When I watch the trailer, I, I like the art style and the animation and all that kind of stuff, and I love the movie before it, but I just, this one, story-wise, isn't gripping to me at all, and this was just, oh, okay. I'll pass. This ain't for me. But anyway, yeah, this is what's going on right now. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But thank you all so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I will catch you next time. And in the meantime, go boom. I won't obey. You cannot tell.